What's going on guys? Ryan O'Toole back here again, giving you guys another video. Endgame comes out next week, guys. I cannot believe it. It's almost here, and I'm going to be doing a couple of videos leading up to Avengers Endgame, including this video right here. I'm going to give you guys six things that I want to see happen in Avengers Endgame. This is just speculation. This is just what I want to see happen. Maybe some of them won't come true, but I'm hoping at least a couple do. What I want you guys to do down below in the comment section is to let me know your guys five things or six things you want to see happen in Endgame. And let me know your guys thoughts on my speculations. And let's have a great discussion. Are you guys hyped for Endgame? Let's talk about this film. The first thing I want to see happen in Avengers Endgame is I really hope that Tony and Cap make up after their fallout in Captain America Civil War. Both Tony Stark and Steve Rogers, they both had a serious fallout after Captain America Civil War. They both were in Avengers Infinity War, but they were both on different planets and all that. They have not seen each other since that final fight in Civil War, so it could be a little awkward at first, but then you know, they're going to come to terms and be like, all right, we make up, let's stop Thanos and save the universe. It's just such a very important plot point that I would love to see done right because both uh, Tony Stark and Captain America are two of my favorite MCU heroes and I just really want to see them make up and hug it out and get ready to fight Thanos in the final endgame. The second thing I want to see happen in Avengers Endgame is I really hope this movie opens extremely and more dark than Infinity War. And what I mean by that is I really hope that the opening Marvel Studios logo has no theme at all. It's just completely silent and then it cuts right to the dust in, just like we saw at the end of Infinity War. And some other people we didn't get to see dusted, dusted in the opening of Endgame. It's a lot darker, it's a lot more mysterious, and you're just going to have no idea what's going to happen by the end of this movie if the Russo brothers and Alan Silvestri decide to open this movie with no Marvel Studios logo, with no music, that will be the most intense heartbreaking opening of the entire mcu i could probably be totally wrong and it could have a really dark opening with some music it would add to the intensity and the stakes if they had no music in the opening scene so the third thing i would love to see happen in endgame is they use time travel and go back in time to the previous mcu films and build a new infinity gauntlet for example, they go back to Captain America the First Avenger, the 1940s World War II. They claim the Tesseract, which is the Space Stone, they grab that, and then they go back to Thor the Dark World and they claim the Aether, which is the Reality Stone. And then they go back to Guardians of the Galaxy, the first one, and they get the Orb, which is the Power Stone. And then they go back to the insaneness of Doctor Strange, getting the Eye of Agamotto, which is the Time Stone. And then, going back to the moment in Infinity War where they can claim the Soul Stone, which is where Gamora is, so they could possibly bring Gamora back from the dead, and go back in time to a specific point where Vision is about to get killed by Thanos and get the Mind Stone, and boom! That's how they make a new Infinity Gauntlet. Just like in the comics, I would love to see Nebula wield the gauntlet, as well as Captain Marvel and Hulk. Hulk seems like a strange choice, but I do have a reason why I would love to see Hulk wield the Infinity Gauntlet. And so he can get a final throwdown, a final round two match against Thanos, because we all know Thanos beats the crap out of Hulk in the opening of Infinity War, and I'd love to see him get his round two revenge on Thanos. The fourth thing I would love to see, and I'm pretty sure everyone would love to see this moment, since they are using time travel, it would be amazing if Captain America Steve Rogers went back to the 1940s and got his dance with Peggy Carter. Many people have been speculating it, and we'll see if it happens, if Steve Rogers can go back in time to the 40s and dance with Peggy Carter like he promised her. It would be such an emotional moment for sure. The end of Captain America the First Avenger left me devastated because Peggy was so sad and upset that her man was going to die and that she wasn't going to get the dance that she wanted. 
it would just be an emotional moment that I would love to see happen if Marvel had the guts to do it. The number five thing I would love to see happen in Endgame is Stan Lee's cameo. This is actually rumored, and I don't know if it's final yet, I think it is rumored that this is Stan Lee's final cameo in the MCU that he's ever done. So please make this his best one yet if it is his last cameo. I just always love the speculation of Stan Lee being the one to kill Thanos, but that's not gonna happen. That's just fan fiction. But make Stan Lee's cameo like the longest one yet. Make it like the biggest, most impactful one yet. Because usually with the Stan Lee cameos, we get a nice joke with them. But if this is his last cameo, you gotta go out with a bang and make the audience cheer and cry. I mean, it's Avengers Endgame, so they're obviously gonna make this one the biggest one yet. And the sixth and final thing I am praying and hoping to God they do in Avengers Endgame, which is definitely not gonna happen, but it would be awesome if there were no end credit scenes. I may be in the minority on that, but if there was no end credit scenes to this movie, that just leaves the stakes and the impact so much better. Infinity War did a fantastic job of leading us on a dark, depressing note when Thanos wins at the end. It just cuts to black and then it goes to the credits. No mid credit scene, but there was an end credit scene. What if this film had no end credit scenes and Marvel just completely shocks us? I've seen some people speculating and maybe they would love to see a tease for Fox in the Fantastic Four and X-Men. That would be cool, but I think it would leave a big shocker if there were no end credit scenes to the film and it just ended like that wouldn't that be a fantastic ending or would you like a little something i don't know that's just my speculation those are the six things that i would love to see happen in avengers endgame again i could probably definitely be wrong on all my speculations but this is just fun discussion and it's always fun to speculate things. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys thought of my speculations or if you have different speculations, let me know what you guys think is going to happen in Avengers Endgame. One week to go, guys. We're in the Endgame now. Stay tuned to my Avengers Endgame death predictions videos. I'm going to be uploading two of them. The first one is going to be talking about all the alive characters, the people who weren't turned to dust. And then I'm going to be talking about the characters who did bite the dust and are dead right now. So with the alive characters, I'm going to be talking about the characters who I think are going to die and who's going to be alive. And with the dead characters, who I think is coming back and who is staying dead. Thank you guys as always for watching this video. And if you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe today for more content. All my social media links are in the description down below. Click that notification bell on your way out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!